All right, welcome back from that report. Installing a GPS tracking device in your vehicle can provide valuable information about your vehicle's location and performance. This technology can help you monitor your driving habits, track maintenance needs, and even potentially reduce your insurance premiums. My guest, Ridwan Olarinwa Jomoili, is a young business magnate from Lagos, Nigeria, and he founded a Rabmot Automobile Licensing Agency in 2021 to re revolutionize vehicle documentation in Nigeria using technology. With a degree in business administration from Gateway Polytechnic, he aims to expand his company to other African countries and make a positive impact on society. Olari Waju is known for his creativity, innovation, and commitment to providing a hustle-free experience for car owners, establishing himself as a pioneer and leader in the industry. He joins me now to discuss further. Good morning to you, uh, Redwan. Thanks for joining us on Business Insights. Good morning, Justin. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. Nice to have you yet again. Been a minute. Same here. Yeah. It's been, right. it's been like a person time now. Yes, I'm glad to be back here. All right, fine. Let's just dive straight into it now. We'll try and get uh, a little bit of a background so uh, people might need to get more information in case some people might not really know the difference. Uh, what do we really need to know when we talk about insurance and car tracking? Okay, so uh, basically, when we're talking about insurance and um, car trackers or car tracking as a whole, you are more like you know, uh, you know, safe guide, right? To uh, guide your vehicle or to protect you from some unforeseen circumstances, right? And when uh, we're talking about both, they actually stand different in the sense that what they actually do. Are different from each other, right? So I'm just going to like you know, elaborate what car trackers actually you know, do and what insurance also do, right? So car tracker is you know that device that helps you to locate your you know vehicle um, or to monitor your vehicle in real time location. So if you have a car tracker installed in your vehicle, automatically you can determine okay, this is the location my car is at this point in time. Let's say for example, you have the car for car healing. And you give it to someone to be driving. You can be able to use with the power of uh, technology using car tracker and GPS. You can locate where this person is at this point in time or that. So it's easier for you to be anywhere in the whole world. From the comfort of your phone, you can be able to see where your car is located. And also, it's you know when you get steps of stolen, right? It's easier to quickly locate and stop or start the car. Right, so those are the, like the advantage of using car tracker. Well, however, insurance policy on the other side also uh, provide a kind of uh, recovery for your vehicle as a car owner, in the sense that in the case of you know incident, um, theft, or some natural disaster, it's easy for you to recover or to repair your you know your vehicle without spending a dime. Right, especially when you go for the comprehensive insurance, right? So it helps you, you know, secure your um vehicles and also save you money um from your pocket at the time that the incident happened, right? Even if you come to industrial disaster that you can actually you know completely you know wrapped up, insurance company can actually like you know replace you know that same car with the same value, right? So that's actually like you know the difference for. What I'm going to like really touch on is using the tool is actually um, a, a huge way because you never can tell what will happen to you as a car owner. But having a progressive insurance, which I feel like is the most active insurance in place, it's actually a goal. Because third party only prevent the other side, right? Not you, the insurer, right? So you have to you know, be able to fix yours while the insurance take care of the other person in the case of third party. But in this comprehensive, obviously it covers you and the other party as well. So imagine having a comprehensive insurance and also having a car tracker. So you can even go back to bed and sleep and park your car on the road, right? Because you know, you're safe. No matter happens, you know, insurance covers you and also your car tracker can help you to locate your vehicle in real time. Okay, speaking of this car tracker, so far you have said about some of um, the high points, some of the advantages one can get. And somehow, in my intro, I said that uh, somehow if you have um, a car tracking device in your vehicle, somehow it could actually sort of save you uh, insurance premiums. I don't know how that works, uh, if you might want to explain that to us. And uh, 
Uh, is it really something that will cost you an arm and a leg? Is it really expensive? Is this something that anyone can just get, any car owner can just um, afford? Yeah, um, I'm going to take it away from basically um, car truck is not something that is actually going to like you know, tear your pocket. I think that people are looking in the uh, in the sense of ah, it's a technology that you know we cover my my car in real time and I can monitor. So they have that mindset already, right? Mm. So the image is in their head that ah, this thing might be so costly, you know, running this service. But the truth is, this car truck we are even talking about doesn't really cost that much, right? It doesn't cost between the range of um, 100 to, let's say, 300 to 350, right? And you get your car secured for life, right? Because as long as the device has been installed in your vehicle, it's going to, you know, um, anything happens to the car, or maybe some, um, some, what's it called, technical issue. But basically, once you install it, it's a one-time thing, apart from the, you know, subscription that you have, like, yearly, Right, because definitely um, you're subscribing under an organization that help you monitors and all of that. And the um, advantage there is, and the reason why you know uh, people might feel like it's it's going to save you some kind of premium is uh, the fact that it's up to locate your car in real time, right? So you can be able to monitor your car. But however, it's it's it has a limit. Yeah, that's the word. It has a limit in the sense that okay. it's only monitor your car. Right, it's only monitor your car in real time, the location, and all of that. What about if incidents happens? You understand, or maybe um, there, there's uh, what's it called a natural disaster, like I mentioned earlier, happens. How do you want to um, cope with that? You have to, despite the fact that you have car tracker, you still have to fix your car, right? If you don't have a uh, what's it called an insurance cover, you still have to fix your car from your pocket, from your heart end. But in order to save yourself from that stress, it would have been better if you have the premium insurance policy coupled with the car tracker. So you know that, yes, my car is safe. In case someone actually, like, you know, um, go away with my car right now, I can easily, you know, uh, locate where the car is. And another additional feature for car tracker is you can basically stop the car from your device. Okay. Or even if, the, for example, there's, there's, there's a soul I, I knew that actually had an incident like that, that, you know, um, the chief came, they stole the car, they even stole this phone, right? So he couldn't even stop the um, the bank because the phone is not with him. So he has to reach out to the car tracker company and they did so from, the, from, from their back end. So you can see that's the, the advantage of having a you know, car tracker and all that. Even when it's beyond your reach, you always have a source to reach out to, and exactly if it is an insurance policy as well. When things happen like that, you always have the insurance company to fall back on like, oh, so so things has happened, this is the proof for it and all of that. And they take action immediately as if nothing happened. So like I said earlier, you know, um, both are actually very, very, you know, um, important, right, to in implement. Car tracker and insurance policies are actually a goal, so if I may say. Okay, so so let me even try and understand uh, better now. So, if one has um, a car tracking device, does it really influence how much you pay as insurance premium? Does it really reduce your your insurance premium, or or how does it really work? I don't want to see the connection as by what you pay as by for your comprehensive or your third party insurance if you have a car tracker and if you don't have a car tracker. Okay, so if you have a car tracker, basically it doesn't, you know, um, affect how much insurance, you know, charge you, right? Because there are two different, uh, you know, organizations and this, and they serve two different purposes. So um, it's basically the car owner that know what he or she wants, right? So if I want to, uh, you know, secure my car in this type of way, or I want some sort of cover, you know, you go for it. You can basically do one of those without implementing them. But basically, if you're doing um, car tracker, automatically you have insurance policy because it's actually one of the mandated uh, paperwork that a car owner has to have, especially in Nigeria, right? So it just determine whether you're doing third party or comprehensive, but it doesn't affect the prices, okay. right? They have you know, they have a certain price for it. Comprehensive as what they charge you as far as you wanted to insure under a particular insurance company you understand so it doesn't you know affect the prices of both because they serve different purposes okay now so the car tracking device now you said it's not really so expensive now to install on one's device and uh, it's just the one one of um, cost and that is subject to 
uh, renewal? Uh, is it every six months, every every year, or how does it really work? Yes. So um, for the first installation, which is you know the installation and the um, other um, technical part of things, right? That's like the first time payments, right? Where you, do, for example, like wrapping on GPS um, tracker, um, it's actually when you pay for the um, first installation and first time payment and subscriptions, right? Yeah. It lasts you for a year. Oh, yeah, right okay. so every year you get to renew um your subscription under the organizations right so yeah. it's up us to you know monitor and also you know uh, give you some certain kind of uh support right behind the scene but obviously this renewal subscription is not as much as the first time uh, of installations right yeah. and it's it's a, it's a one time thing when you install so it's not something that you install today, you get to install tomorrow, except you know something happened technically to the device, right? Mm. Uh, but this uh, subscription base is just to keep you going every year, just like you know we have a card documentation whereby you register your plate number with the uh, kind of you know um uh, amount that based like this, and when you come to renewal, you just like this. So it mm. serves the same purpose, like a yearly renewal, but it's not as much as the first as the first time you register. All right, that, that, that's really uh, interesting to note now. So you talked about organizations. So is it like uh, there are several organizations involved in car tracking or is it something you can go and do online or do you need to go to uh, the same people who do car documentation or how is it really done? Okay, basically, uh, you know, car tracker is a device, hmm. right? That's owned by, you know, um, different organization, obviously. It's not on the government agency, it's not on the... And so we at Rabmods, you know, we offer that to our client, right? Because we know that obviously, you know, uh, it helps the client that we serve, right? It helps to help them prevent and all of that. But basically, not all car documentation company does that, right? We just see like it can, you know, offer some kind of help to um, <laughs> our car owners and want to implement that into our offering, right? So, but basically, the different organizations as you know car trackers and you can do you do your due diligence and not the one that actually you know work best what i would just tell people is make sure you do your due diligence before patronizing any company for car trackers because it also has its own weeks as well right mm. so you have to make sure you're dealing with a company you're safe with right or uh, before going forward to make such move okay can we just get like statistics um so far if you may uh tell us uh for instance um how, what the incident rates have been like as far as how the car tracking devices have been able to, you know, help uh, in terms of car theft and um, the recovery rate over time? Okay, so um, over time, right, I, I feel like um, before now, if a lot of people doesn't really, you know, have this um, the overview, like, okay, this is what this device does, right? Mm. But due to the fact that some other, you know, um, feedback for people that actually implement it at the early stage. And I make mention of, you know, of one of our clients that actually had that issues in Ibadan, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's actually um, something that happened over the night, right? And his phone was uh, gone with it. So he has, like, you know, contacts in the insurance company, I'll be like, hey, the car tracker company, like, oh, died. Stop this way, going as we're standing with my car and all of that. So you can see, it's actually, you know, hope. And I, a lot of people, right now we have, almost 50% of our clients, right, you know, subscribing for, you know, car tracker because they now see the importance of it, right? And if we were going to look at the, you know, the statistics as a whole right now, I can tell like, you know, 30 to 40% of car owners right now know the importance, right? And they actually implement the car trackers in their, you know, vehicles, especially people that are into car healing, right? Because obviously you're putting yourself in the wings by giving your car to, um, you know, um, someone else to drive, especially um, we see that in Uber uh, vehicles um, often time, they even have the, the camera device that detects, you know, people in the car that you can be able to see whatever that happens in the car. And that's an additional feature, right, that makes you understand, you know, what happens, you know, this person got police and all of that. So that's the power of car, car tracking uh, technology, right, mm. that help people to basically, you know, secure you know, not just um, themselves, not just the car, but also the, the people that are, you know, um, that ever communicate with the car. 
Okay. Right? So I feel like it's raising and um, we need more awareness to get it across to people because a lot of people are still thinking in the sense that this thing might be costly or this thing, am I safe to use car tracker in my in my, my uh, vehicle and all of that? But I believe with a certain level of um, awareness, people can be able and orientation as well, right? To change the image that people already have uh, in their head, right? To let them see positivity of you know using car tracker um, in your vehicle. All right, uh, just before we round off right now, I just got a question someone is asking me, so let me just put it to you. I thought we've talked about it, maybe let's just start watching. He's asking them how much it costs to put a uh, tracking device on a car, and then do, um, do these devices um, uh, differ in terms of um, the brands of cars that you that you have? Okay, so basically it doesn't you know, um, have to do with the brand of car. It's actually you know um, a standard um, fee, Right. Um, as long as it's a vehicle, you can even you can even uh, put tracker in your uh, what's it called motorcycle or uh, tricycle mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Right. As long as it's um it, uh, what's it called it's a vehicle, so it's it's at a standard price. It doesn't go with that. Mm -hmm. And I just put a brain to it because obviously you know um, different organization actually offer it, but it doesn't go really beyond hundred thousand to three hundred and fifty thousand. Right, mm. so that's actually the, the range that covers the car trackers. So it depends on whatever. And like I said, there are some car tracking that actually add additional features. Okay. I just make mention of the ones um additional cameras that help you um you know capture what happens mm. uh while you're even driving, and that's why you see some of the um what's it called a uh, incident that you see online that they can tell you how it happens right from the from the uh, inside of the car right okay. so it's because the car tracker can be able to capture what is happening in real time not just the location now so all those things is like additional feature that might raise or reduce the price all right thank you so much i read one that uh, there's so much and benefits one can actually derive from using them car um, trackers and of course uh, getting them insured as well because uh both of them cannot be done without. I have been speaking with Ridwan um, Olamiwa Jamuili. He's the CEO founder of Rabmot Automobile License uh, Consultant Limited. And we've been looking at the road transportation, the uh, difference between car insurance and, of course, um, truckers and um, the benefits and how it can actually just save your life and save your car and even, of course, save your expenses. Thank you so much, uh, Ridwan, for your time this morning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. All right. That's the size of the show for today. My name is Justin Akadonia. Many thanks for being a part of it. Bye for now.